what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Lindsay and this is episode 6 of the cut series so if you're just jumping in I am filming a series about my fat loss journey and the reason that I'm doing this and I never really mentioned this before in the series but the reason I'm doing this is for a photo shoot I have coming up in a few days so today is Saturday the photo shoots Wednesday and I just wanted to lean out a little bit for the shoot and make sure that I'm looking nice and tight and toned for the photos. So, um, I, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a rundown of how it's going and how I'm prepping for the shoot now that it's really like dwindling down. Weight loss update. I have lost 11 pounds since I started the cut six weeks ago. And I'm not really sure what happened in this past week, but I lost five pounds within a week. And I don't know, I was trying to backtrack, like, what did I do differently? <laughs> but I've really just been doing the same thing. I did drop my carbs a little bit uh, by like 10 grams. I just manipulate my carbs and my proteins and my fats based on my weight so I'm always changing it as my weight changes tip there and what else um, I'm still drinking a gallon of water a day I have been intermittent fasting and by doing that I have a small window of time where I'm consuming my meals so that might have made a difference um, I know there were a few days where my window was pretty small, I don't know. So <laughs> that is what has been going on as far as that. Um, okay, so now the day's coming up, I'm going to be dropping my carbs each day. Like today I have 75 grams, which is pretty normal for me for a low carb day. And then I'm going to be dropping them uh, tomorrow and Monday and then Tuesday I have a high carb day so I'm going to carb up and I'm also manipulating my water intake so today and tomorrow I'll be drinking about two two and a half gallons of water and then the following day one gallon and then I'll drop it down to half a gallon before the shoot I just find that my body looks a little bit tighter and toned if I'm drier <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm doing this strategy by dropping my carbs, it's going to help speed up the fat burning process and deplete my glycogen levels. So glycogen stored in muscles holds water and you can kind of think of it as like a water balloon filling up. So when you deplete them and then you carb load, you're able to store more glycogen in your muscles giving you that like shredded little bit of a pumped look but you're still looking lean and toned now let's get into the workout that i did for today so for this workout i started out just doing five minutes on the bike at a regular pace this warms up my muscles and gets me ready for the workout and then i went into some hit intervals so high intensity interval training incorporates high levels of intensity and then you have short breaks in between so I did 20 seconds of going as fast as possible on the bike with 10 seconds of going at a slow pace and then I did this for six cycles <music>
All right, so after that, I'm doing some double pump squat thrusters. And for this movement, you want to make sure that you're keeping your booty pretty low without your knees going over your toes. And then squat, pump two times, and thrust up with your hips, pressing the dumbbells overhead. For this movement, I'm keeping the reps pretty high, and I did about three sets of 15. I also kept my breaks in between to a very minimum of about 10 seconds in between. So just enough to catch your breath, but not bring your heart rate down too much. And for the next movement, I'm doing some single leg deadlifts with a row at the bottom. This is a pretty challenging movement, but once you get the hang of it and keep your balance at the base of your foot, then it becomes simplified. So this is going to hit the hamstrings and triceps. And I did three sets of 15 on each leg. You can see Tejin poking in a little bit here. <laughs> And once again, keeping the breaks in between to a very minimum, just so I could keep my heart rate elevated throughout the entire workout. For the next movement, I'm doing some straight leg deadlifts, and I used a pretty heavy weight for this exercise. So you want to pick a weight that's going to challenge you, but at the same time, won't compromise your form. So I did three sets of 12 for this just because the weight was pretty heavy for me and kept my rest in between to about 10 seconds. After that, I wanted to do some core work. So this is a bit challenging, but it will really tighten out your abs and you'll also feel it in your upper body. So I just have an exercise ball here that... I laid my feet on and I'm doing a pike up so you want to start by doing a plank on the exercise ball lifting your hips up as far as they can go and then bringing them back down making sure that you straighten out your body next I did an exercise with the booty bands these are one of my favorite I'm just using the band and doing some hip abduction on each side. I did three sets of 15 for this, as well as the previous exercise. So you wanna make sure that you apply this to both sides. <laughs> And finally, I raised the band up above my knee, did a squat, and then you just slide over, do a squat, stand up, make sure that you push your hips through as you stand up, and squeeze your glutes at the top so you can really feel it. For today's video I hope you guys enjoyed I know it was like really random but <laughs> how I prep for a photo shoot um, update and workout because I took a poll and a lot of you guys wanted to see workouts so hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button and add me on Facebook and Instagram so we can slide in each other's DMs <laughs>